Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at something that's pretty basic and simple inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. But it's something that if you're new to video or if you're just starting out, it's something I definitely want you to be uh, involved in or interested in going forward because it'll make your videos that much better. For example, um, when you see most Hollywood effects, um, especially where there's a person involved, chances are the person isn't really on the scene that you see them on. They're being shot in a studio or on location on a green screen, and then the animators and videographers and all the people in behind the scenes in post-production are doing all that post work to put something behind them. That doesn't mean that it's only limited to Hollywood. As a matter of fact, Adobe Premiere Pro has a new professional uh, green keyer built into it called Ultra. And we're going to see how that looks and how it works. And um, by the way, I know what you're thinking is, well, I haven't shot anything on green screen yet. What are I, how can I play with this? Well, here's what I've done. I have a video here that's just stock video um, playing in the background here. It's just a globe spinning with the earth. That's not my, you know, you can put anything back there. It could be a solid um, background. It could be anything you want the green to go on. But where do you get your green screen footage? Well, I found a website called Hollywood Camera Work that has in their download section lots of green screen um, samples that you can download freely to play with. And as a matter of fact, they even let me download it for this tutorial as long as I mention them. So I'm meeting my criteria of mentioning Hollywood Camera Work, uh, hollywoodcamerawork.com for you to go download things from them as well. All right, so uh, I downloaded a few of their clips and I just wanted to, that way I had something fresh that I didn't have to worry about I shot whether I shot it or not. And by the way, uh, you might think, well, oh, you're downloading something that was shot perfectly with the, just the proper amount of, you know, perfect amount of lighting on a green background. And no, that's not the case. Uh, it's nothing to take away from them. I think they did a lot of this on perfect where some of the green screen, uh, and they even say it in the descriptions, there are issues with it. Uh, some things are um, uh, not lit properly, not lit evenly, uh, wrinkles in the green screen, the whole nine yards. So I didn't down, I didn't go find the perfect green screen example. I went and found everyday examples, uh, just like you and I would shoot. All right, so with that, let's go back to um, Premiere Pro. And in Premiere, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click on my project window and that will let me go out and do an import. I'm going to go and grab the Godiva Medium, which if that's the one you want to play with. And I was, I was stunned at first when I downloaded their samples because I thought I'd be downloading video, which actually all they do is give you a series of stills. And luckily, um, Premiere Pro can handle this. Just go find the first one in the sequence. So in this case, uh, H Hollywood camera work Godi Godiva medium 0001 is the first one and then you just check the box in Premiere Pro that it's an image sequence in other words let Premiere put all those stills back together as a video all those frames so now when I do that that'll bring in the whole eight second or eight minute video here eight second video here and I can go ahead and just drag that in to my timeline and of course I can now, it may not match the size of your original video and that's fine. For example, it's longer than my original video and the frame size is bigger than my original video. If you right click on the video, you can say scale to frame size. That'll bring it down so where it fits or large enlarges to be the size of the video that you're putting it on top of. So now it brought it down to the size of my globe video and you can even see the globe video playing on the edges there, left and right edges, where this video would be playing of her. Um, I want it to be on the globe. That's where the green screen effect, the ultra key comes, ultra key comes in. So with that, I'm going to go to my effects panel. And in my effects panel, this is where all the video effects are. And I imagine the ultra key is probably in video effects, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a search for ultra. And there it is, ultra key. So now I just drag Ultra Key right on top of the Godiva video. And then I go to my um, effects controls where I will find the settings for Ultra Key. Now I have to tell Ultra Key just simply what, what, what am I masking out? What's green? Now, um, you, even this one's lit in, you know, unevenly. There's a dark spot here. It's nice and light and bright there. It gets kind of dark in here. And that can cause all kinds of problems with 
other green screen keys. But with Premiere Pro, uh, even when you don't have the perfect green screen video, what we're going to do is we're going to click the eyedropper and we're going to look for the most even. In other words, this is probably the best spot in the video where it's, or over here, where it looks like it's the right color green and it doesn't have shadows on it. It's probably the right one. But when I click on it, it will automatically adjust for everything else and do a good job of keying this out. So here we are playing this back in real, oh, not in real time, but here, let's play it back. Now we're playing it back in real time as she's, uh, as the wind's blowing or the fan's blowing and her scarf is blowing, even with the translucence um, through onto the blue globe background. So here, let's play it again. Now, her video is longer than my background video, so we'll get to see it um, as it goes past the blue globe onto, and there's a, what is that, a fan? Yeah, there's the fan blowing. And we see um, that this is going uh, onto a black or basically where there's no video. And at first I thought, oh, there's some green in there. Well, actually, that's the color of the scarf. That's blue. So it did a great job of keying that out. Now, if it didn't key it out perfectly, the other thing I would normally do is go in to the um, matte cleanup. And usually I can adjust the contrast to kind of get it to look better or just click on a different spot of green. But between clicking on the green and clicking on the contrast and adjusting that, uh, I usually get a great key from even a non-great uh, green, uh, green screen. So in this case, what would I do with the fan since the fan is kind of there, um, you know, being shown because it wasn't shot, you know, <clears throat> in other words, it, it, it's not green, so it didn't get keyed out. So I could bring up the, and this is just kind of a bonus tip here. I could bring up the crop feature, uh, which is another filter in Photoshop. I'm sorry, filter in um, Premiere. And I can drag it on top of the same video and I can crop in the right side. So I can crop that out of the video. Now, of course, that's going to bring in an edge, which I may or may not want, but let's see what that looks like. Yeah, see, it's bringing in that edge. So cropping may not be the right thing to do in this case. Uh, yeah, because it's just, there's an edge there. So I could play around the contrast and kind of hopefully get rid of that edge. Yeah. You can play around the settings and get rid of that edge probably as well. But there you go. Those are some options for you. Uh, even when your green screen is not perfect. And if you're shooting this, don't let, don't let the fan be in the way. Move stuff that's not in the video out of the frame. Okay, and then you won't have to worry about cropping it later. But uh, that's it for this episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.